Hi and welcome back to All Things Korean. Today's video is the third episode of Learning Korean with Kids Newspapers. I picked out a great article for you today. Originally, I didn't want to do this because the first episode was about the plague and I didn't want to get all diseasey again, but you know, you can't talk current events without mentioning the coronavirus, so today's episode is going to be an article about that. Specifically, it's about the Thai government, which has decided to make clear masks. So face masks with like a clear window around the mouth to help the hearing impaired. Because for these people, you know, they need to see the movement of the mouth to communicate more efficiently. If this is your first time watching one of these episodes, this is a segment where I read aloud a Korean kids newspaper article in a fairly standard pace so that you can follow along and you can learn to read Korean more naturally and sound more fluent. I will leave the full article along with the translation in the description box in case you want to go over it. Pay attention to where I make my pauses, pay attention to my intonation, and follow along as many times as you want. Before I read the article, of course, I'm going to go over some key vocabulary words with you so that if you want to use this article for listening practice, you'll have a better idea of what words to expect. So the first word is 청각장애인. 장애인 is the word for someone with disabilities and 청각 is the sense of hearing. And while we're here, let's just go over the 오감. Or the five senses. So 청각, which we just mentioned, is hearing. Then we have 시각, which is for sight. 후각, for smell. 미각, for taste. And 촉각, for touch. Similarly to 청각장애인, there's another word that comes up in this article, and that is 난청인. 난 is the Sino-Korean character for difficult, and 청, as we learned in 청각, is hearing. So someone who is hard of hearing is a 난청인. So not completely deaf, but you know, someone who has difficulty in hearing. The next word is 수어 or 수화. 수 is the Sino-Korean word for hand, and 어 is the word in 언어, which means language, 화 is the Sino-Korean character in 대화, which means to speak. So 수어 or 수화 refers to sign language or a language that you speak using your hands. Moving on, we have the word 배포, which means to distribute something. So in this case, the government is distributing masks for the hearing impaired. The next word is 권위. 권 is like the rights, human rights, and 이 means interests. So 권익 is rights and interests of a particular group. The next word is 감염증, which is an infectious disease. Did I go over this in the first one? I can't remember. The next word is 의무화. 의무화. So 의무 is a word that means duty. And 화 is similar to the English ization, which means to make something become something. For example, modernization is when you know something is made modern or becomes modern. So when you add 화 to the end of a word like this, it means to make it a blah blah blah. So 의무화 means to make it a duty, and therefore it means to make mandatory. Our next word is 의사소통. 의사소통 means communication. Our next word is 방해. 방해 means to interrupt or disturb or obstruct something. 방해하지 마 can mean don't interrupt me. The next word is 저소득층. 저소득층 means the low income bracket. So 저 is the Sino-Korean word that means low. You'll see this in a bunch of other Sino-Korean words. It's very useful to know. The opposite of 저 is 고, which means high. And 소득 is the word for income. That's a word on its own. And 층 can mean, you know, like level or a, a particular group. Uh, so that's a lot of useful things to learn in just one word. And finally, our last word is 보완, which means to supplement something. 
Okay, so now that we have all the vocabulary words out of the way, let's get to reading the article. Bangkok Post 등 현지 언론의 최근 보도에 따르면 태국 장애인 권익국은 21일 신종 코로나 바이러스 감염증으로 마스크 착용을 의무화했지만 청각 장애인은 마스크를 쓰면 의사소통에 어려움을 겪을 수 있다며 이들을 위한 특수 마스크를 제작해 배포하겠다고 밝혔다. 수어로 의사소통을 하는 청각 장애인은 손동작뿐 아니라 입술, 눈썹 등의 움직임을 보고 메시지를 읽는다. 얼굴의 반을 가리는 일반 마스크를 착용하면 의사소통에 방해를 받을 수밖에 없다. 이에 태국 정부는 상대방이 입 모양을 정확히 볼수 있도록 크고 투명한 창이 있는 마스크를 제작하기로 했다. 이번 달 중으로 생산을 시작하며 수어 통역사와 저소득층 청각 장애인에게 무료로 배포한다. 투명 마스크 아이디어는 이달 초 미국 대학생 애슐리 로렌스 씨가 침대 시트와 투명 플라스틱으로 마스크를 만들어 난청인들에게 무료로 나눠주면서 알려졌다. 언론에 소개된 후 로렌스 씨에게 주문이 수십 건 들어왔고 많은 단체가 직접 투명 마스크 제작에 나섰다. 다만 입김에서 나오는 열과 습기가 투명창을 흐리게 할수 있어 이에 대한 보완이 필요하다는 의견도 나온다. So that was the article. Feel free to listen multiple times and repeat. If you found this article helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to All Things Korean for more. And I will see you in the next video. 다음 영상에서 만나요.